Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how I got ready for New Year's 2017. As you can see it's a very bronzy, goldy, smoky eye with a burgundy lip. So first I'm just priming my eyes with the NYX eyeshadow primer in white. Now I'm just taking my Morphe 35C palette and I'm using the white to set that down um, and make the darker colours we'll be using later much easier to blend. So now I'm blending a warm brown through the crease. This warmth will tie the darker blacks and browns that we'll be putting on later in with the look better and um, yeah I'm just blending that and intensifying that towards the crease and uh, fading it out towards my brow bone. I'm building up the intensity quite a bit uh, right at the crease because that will then prepare for the darker colours that we'll be putting on the eyelids. So I decided to use black on the eyelid, so I'm just preparing for that again with a nice cool brown. And I'm blending that on my eyelid and a little bit through the crease as well, just to help the transition between that warm brown and the black that we'll be putting on. Now I'm just adding the black right down on my eyelid. And I'm blending that out in a sort of triangular shape towards the outer V of my eye. I'm taking it all over my eyelid, not being shy, I'm putting it all over um, and just kind of winging out the shadow. And I try to really blend it out quite seamlessly towards that warm brown that we put on underneath. Now I'm just intensifying the black so that it's not as patchy and blending it out as much as I can towards the crease again to maintain that seamless look. And I don't know if you caught that but I put a bit of white again on my brow bone because I, I think it helps to um, blend out the eyeshadow through my crease um, so that it doesn't get too dark up towards the brow bone. And as you'll see, I'll, I'll add black quite a few times to the eyelids to make it really deep and dark. Please excuse my voice in this voiceover. I know I sound really ill and kind of disgusting, but um, hopefully you can bear with me. So now that our eyeshadow is all deep and dark and blended out to perfection, we're going to be adding the glitter. This is the Makeup Geek Sparkler which gets everywhere when you open it and this one is in satellite. It's a gold and purple duochrome but it looks mostly gold when you pack it onto the lid as you'll see. But it definitely has some purple reflex in it and I've just mixed it with my Barry M setting spray in the cap and I'm just packing that on sort of cutting the crease and blending it out towards the centre of the eyelid. Um, I was planning on just cutting the first third of the eye, the crease there, but when I put this on I just fell in love with it and I just wanted to put more and more on so I've actually put it on most of my eyelid and I'm just fading it out towards the outer corner which I'm going to keep a nice dark black colour. I honestly put on like layer after layer of this. I am just living for this gold. So I'm just like, look how pigmented that is now. I put so much on, but it looks amazing. I'm just feeling myself. <laughs> but it definitely is, is a very messy cap. So now because of that fallout, I'm just putting a bit more black on the outer corners. And I'm just going to be using my awesome eyeliner by Makeup Revolution. 
to create an inner corner point and there's two sides to it one is felt one is coal I'm using the felt side now I'm switching to the L'Oreal super liner eyeliner precious bronze because the felt wasn't working very well over the glitter and I've got to say neither of them actually performed great over the glitter if anyone has any suggestions of how to get a nice perfect wing over the top of glitter please let me know in the comments um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how how you'd go about doing that um, yeah but these liquid products actually worked quite well for the wing on the outer corner because there wasn't any glitter there um, if I had to guess I'd say that gel liner would probably work a little bit better over the top um, but yeah we'll see I'll try it out in the next one So next I'm just going to be using the coal side of my awesome eyeliner by Makeup Revolution to line my tight line. And I'm just going to then neaten up the wing and add a few finishing touches. Before I move on to my face, I'm just going to be cleaning up that glitter off of my hands and off of my face because if they get into my base then there's no getting rid of that. Now I'm just taking my Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation, I'll use the shade Ivory and I'm just putting that all over my face. And cleaning off my hands and then I'm just going to be bouncing that in with my damp beauty blender. I know a lot of people use water spray but I dampened mine with my Barry M setting spray just because it was there, it was quite convenient. And I didn't record concealing and doing my cream contouring or setting my face but I used all of the usual products that I use. But as usual I'll list all of the products that I've used below. Um, so instead I've just cut to using my uh, powder contouring palette. I believe this is called the Makeup Revolution Sculpt and Contour Kit and it's basically changed my life because I've been using my brow kit powders um, for like basically forever so this is the first actual contouring powder product that I've bought and it's pretty good so I'd recommend. So now I'm just taking the bronzer shade and I'm warming up my contour bringing it up towards my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead and I'm taking the shade Blackwa from my Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave palette and finishing off the eyes by blending that out underneath the bottom lash line and as you can probably tell I look quite excited to use this this is um, a new product actually that I got for Christmas from my sister and I've always wanted a gold eyeliner this is the Lush um, eyeliner in the colour Fantasy and it's such a bright gold, like I put this on and I literally wanted to just put more and more on and just like smother it all over my face, like that's how much I loved it. And as you can see I am like feeling this look and I just started to get a bit excited for the new year. Now I'm just going to be filling in my brows like I usually do with my um, Brow Expert Kit by Makeup Revolution and I'm just using the two pomades. One is like a light brown colour and the other is a dark brown colour. Um, and I've shown this in most of my tutorials so you probably know the drill by now. Unless you're a newcomer in which case welcome and please check out some of my other tutorials. So now I'm just curling my eyelashes and I'm going to be putting on my Ardell Demi Wispies and they are like my faves, they are like my, my lashes but better basically. They're sort of tapered at the ends and they just look so natural and thick and luscious. And I'm just putting my 
Rimmel Super Curler Mascara on top, as usual. Next, I'm taking my Sleek Solstice palette and this will glow you up so much. Like, I was getting so excited putting this on. Um, I fell in love with it. It, it. This was the first highlighting product that I'd ever bought for myself and it was just amazing. Like, I don't think I could have done better for a first highlighting product. Just look at that glow. It is intense. Um, I like to highlight a bit on my cheekbone and above my brow bone just so you get that nice sort of like triangular effect if you know what I mean. Just the light hitting just the right spots and then putting that on my brow bone as well. I did my nose. Now I'm taking my Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Crybaby and I'm just going to be putting that into my bottom waterline. I used it because it's quite a pale colour um, and I just didn't want to use white. And lastly I just put on my NYX Liquid Suede in Vintage which is a dark red colour and now you can just see what the final look all looks like together. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Give a thumbs up if you did and even subscribe if you'd like to. Check out my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook page and I'll list them all in the description and see you in the next one.